It is always a celebration here in the city of New Orleans, and we are just outside of the French Quarter at the Superdome. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New Orleans Saints. in everybody with Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon and Charles so much gets made about offensive comparisons here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage yeah we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns how about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away I love those ball hawks in the secondary people after my own heart Superdome from the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And here come the Saints about to begin their first possession. And the man in charge of this offense, his eighth season now in the NFL, former number one pick, Jameis Winston. It was terrible to see Jameis Winston suffer his torn ACL last season because he had the Saints rolling in his first year running the show in New Orleans. They went five and two in his starts, and they were just four and six after he was injured. And how about this? He only threw three interceptions, really addressing the big concern people had from his time as a starter in Tampa. New Orleans, they plan to roll with him for a second season and hope that last year's performance will carry over in a full season. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing right away is Winston. And his first look is incomplete. He was trying to get... To throw is Winston. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. An early turn to get back 11 yards. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Cincinnati's offense takes the field and leading the way for the reigning AFC champs is last season's comeback player of the year, a man who needs no introduction, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow could have won comeback player of the year last season simply for his statistics. 4,600 yards, 34 touchdowns through the air. But he brought the entire Bengal organization on a comeback after five straight losing seasons, first with a division title, then an unexpected AFC title and led the team to their third Super Bowl ever. And he had them less than two minutes away from winning it for the first time. Keep an eye on Joey B. He expects to bring a Super Bowl title to Cincinnati in the near future. They will throw on first down with Burrow. That's the tight end Hurst with it. Point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati. Back to Mixon on first down. And they're well past midfield. Just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a pickup of Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Now Burrow. And that one caught downfield by Boyd. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A very solid gain of 27. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big and completions have him looking at third and 10.
Now it's Burrow. To the end zone for the Bengal field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. McPherson's kick is good. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. Well, now how about this return? He's to midfield. Deontay Hardy. And he will score. Touchdown, Saints. Special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. on for the point after. He's got it. We'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Well, We talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. Bottom shelf material. First down. Here's Burrow. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm. Play action. It's Burrow. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. That's the former Buckeye Pete Warner getting the sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense hit with a third and long after that sack we just saw? They'll set up a throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson and Debo. And they are going to set up shop at the... Only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34 really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Jameis now on first down. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he's brought down here just... Winston. Got an open man. It's Alave. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down converged in 10. Winston to give. It's Kamara. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Here's Winston. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A good job defensively to hold that. To need four yards on third down. Throwing. Winston. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Lutz is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and to him. The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike, 
That means the defensive front has eaten up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Now Burrow, man open. That's Jamar Chase complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Now Burrow on first down. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. Defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just... Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Flushed out, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Dak, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Running left, it's Mixon. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and now, now it's Burrow. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jamario Davis. And the Saints are going to get the football here as he gets this up. Offense. Run what Put you do best. Again. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. They run it again with Kamara. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That good for 19 and a first down. score after one here on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. A give to Kamara running right and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now that's the type of play that will fire up the defense. Hold them to one. After the sack, Winston and the Saints needing to figure out what to do. Tough play, third and long. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Four points up. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 70 yards rushing here for Mixon. He's got a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game. It's on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 14. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. And a clear going to be incomplete. Receiver coaches preach their guys all the time. Separation. First and 10 at about the 32. He'll start with a give to Kamara. Nifty move. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. First down yardage. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Pick up a five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Kamara. Oh, what a juke into space. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they tight ends in the formation for third and three? A tenth carry for Kamara. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. My high school football coach was very fond of saying after the loss. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. These games, 
have led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yards to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 30. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get to Winston. A quick one here hauled in by Kamara. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. We often talk about understanding the play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Winston. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. They'll throw again, Winston. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Saints are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. But this offense is good. Again, Kamara. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara taking it in from two yards out. And the Saints and execute their blocks. It's pretty impressive. Lutz with the extra point. And the lead is now 17-3. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the captain, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. But a period it done. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Here's Burrow. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Hurst. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And yeah, they'll be marked down at about the 26 down. Now Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. And he's brought down here just out 20. Burrow looking to pass. That's taken in by Higgins. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. And Burrow going to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think it's McPherson for the Bengal field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. McPherson's kick is good. And a field goal here gets him back within 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of... On first and 10, Winston. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And some play callers, when they go into games, go for maybe 15 or 20 yards. Final play of the half here, Winston. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for Cincinnati. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three.
to do in this third quarter, but they'll get the football first as we are back underway from the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here, first and 10, right at the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side complete to Chase. And they will throw on first down with Burrow. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now it's Burrow. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan collapses. He'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Boyd. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Well, they stopped him shy of the marker. Thought they were bringing up fourth down. After the penalty, it's Mixon. Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. 79 yards on the ground for him so far. That incompletion on second down. Back to throw here. He gets this one to Boyd. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Now it's Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards. Now it's third and five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pet yards on third down. He'll look to throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the top. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. McPherson's kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good on that play. The defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch in the Saints needing to figure out what to do. Tough play, third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he gets this only to the 44. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you don't turn your nose up in a game of four, do you? Don't... They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He finds his man complete. It's Boyd. And he's able to get out to the 32. Run down there. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. They'll look to throw here. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That's good, the completion there. Burrow will throw. To the right side and complete to Hurst. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Here's Burrow. Again, that's Hurst. And they're going to get this up to midfield. From midfield now, Burrow. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Crystal foul, roughing the passer, defense. 
Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the play. officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. To the air again, Burrow. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Again, it's Mixon. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down the 8 yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now Burrow. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yard. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. Mixon is in. Touchdown, Bengals. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Burrow's going to look to throw for it toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And a tackle there by Jermaine Pratt. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single Second and five now. Winston. Out of the backfield. That's complete to Kamara. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really a man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. And he's got some space here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Winston. And that is incomplete. First and 10 at the 45. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Connecting on the out route here with Higgins. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. From the gun to give to Mixon. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to 48. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a got to get closer here on third down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He's got Hurst, his tight end. Here we go, here we go. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down. Kirsten 10. Burrow looking to pass. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And he'll be taken down at about the 22 yard line. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. 
Throwing again on second down. Burrow, and he'll spot Higgins open left side. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Burrow hooking up with Higgins for a Bengal first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys. Now it's Burrow. Touchdown, Bengals! Joe Burrow with a touchdown connection to Tyler Boyd. And the Bengals have taken a fourth. Pearson for the extra point. And the lead is up to five. So this drive spans seven plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from Tyler Boyd. And here's second and nine. Winston. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. From the gun, Winston. And that is incomplete. They have not got him going at all. Second and 10 now from about the 32. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Here's Higgins out on the right side. And they get him down, but not before he... Now it's Burrow. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's... Ball was delivered and picked up the completion. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Back to Mixon on first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensive to bleed down the clock and take care of the football. Right now, they're executing really well. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made. Mixon with a first down carry. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 12 more here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. And power running here down to the six-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. This is caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. And they got three. And it's first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as a third and goal at the four-yard line. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, that was absolutely extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming. From what have I done before This worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. He's got Landry, and he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it all culminated in the touchdown run coming. From what have I done before This worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. He's got Landry. Jameis to throw it. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left. And this
this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Burrow down to a knee, and that should be the final act of this one. That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one, and in the end, how about that come-from-behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while.